Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to cover the recent October edition that is the volume 70 of the Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India. Chronic kidney disease is a global burden and is often commonly characterized by traditional risk factors including diabetes, hypertension, glomerulonephritis, but it is emerging as a serious health problem, especially in the state of Odisha, India. Now, this is as per a new cross-sectional study that was conducted on 124 consecutive patients with chronic kidney disease. A new form of severe chronic kidney disease affecting adults being named as a chronic kidney disease of unknown origin and it is considered fatal due to the late recognition as well as its rapid disease progression. Now, a questionnaire was answered and after the necessary history, clinical evaluation, as well as the blood and urine analysis, a kidney biopsy was undertaken. Kidney biopsy was only considered feasible in 51 patients as the rest of the 61 patients had shrunken kidneys. Among these 51, 23 had chronic kidney disease of unknown origin, 25 had chronic glomerulonephritis and 3 biopsies were inconclusive. The results show that a family history of chronic kidney disease was seen in 82.6% of chronic kidney disease of unknown origin cases, hyponatremia as well as hypokalemia were predominant biochemical abnormalities. There was an increased risk of developing CKD of unknown origin in persons with a family history of chronic kidney disease persons exposed to smoke from burning coal, charcoal or biomass fuels as well as patients with low socioeconomic status. Interstitial fibrosis, interstitial inflammation with mononuclear infiltration, tubular atrophy as well as global glomerulone sclerosis were pertinent histopathological findings in the study. The researchers hence concluded that there is no strong evidence for a single cause for CKD of unknown origin and multiple environmental, occupational as well as social factors are probably involved and so the identification of such etiologies of chronic kidney disease of unknown origin across high-risk populations may help elucidate the importance of risk factors. Hematohydrosis is a rare pathophysiological condition of sweating blood. Yes, you heard it right. History also has quoted this rare disease where it is said Jesus sweated blood before his crucifixion and the great artist Leonardo da Vinci wrote about a soldier who had bloody sweat after a battle. However, with rare pathophysiology, this disease has been recorded very rarely. So, I am going to talk about a case study of a young lady who presented with abrupt bleeding from the skin. The bleeding was vanished after wiping with no sight of injury. But it even reappeared soon enough, confirming its nature. Bleeding time, the clotting time as well as the prothrombin time was well within the normal limits. This 19-year-old female presented with a tendency of complaints of occasional loss of consciousness at home with violent random movements of limbs and bending of the spine followed by spontaneous recovery along with bleeding from the nose and the eyes. She was hospitalized four years ago as she was found unconscious at her home stairway with bleeding from her nose and the ears. CBC the coagulation profile, the CT brain was all normal as she was discharged after observation. A similar episode of bleeding from the nose and the mouth occurred after a month and again she was hospitalized but once again the blood profile parameters were all normal. Confusing, right? So, ENT consultation revealed no source of bleeding even after fiber optic laryngoscopy and she was advised to take oral tranexamic acid at home in case of an emerg emergency. So, a couple of similar episodes happened as she was taking psychiatric therapy for anxiety disorder as loss of consciousness was considered anxiety sequelae. In 2018, she also developed new symptoms that is shedding of bloody tears associated with bloody salivation. Benzidine test was found positive for tear and saliva samples proving the theory of the presence of blood mixed with saliva and tears. So, as of now, the researchers highlighted that psychological anxiety is a predisposing cause for hematohydrosis. So, in conclusion, though it is a very rarely reported case history in medical literature, doctors should keep a close watch on their daily patient interactions to register more cases of hematohydrosis to know further about the condition.
Barrett's esophagus is a common condition in which the flat pink lining of the esophagus it becomes damaged by repeated acid reflux which causes the lining to thicken and become red. So Barrett's esophagus is a complication of the gastroesophageal reflux disease and it is often commonly seen in among 15% of gastroesophageal reflux disease patients. Barrett's has malignant potential and annual progression to carcinoma depends on the presence or even the absence of dysplasia. So the researchers in this cross-sectional study compared two symptomatic cohorts of GERD patients from the same geographical area who were eventually evaluated for the presence of Barrett's esophagus and various factors that can contribute to this. So two GERD cohorts, one from Kotayam district and the other from Trivandrum were taken. The presence of Barrett's and the factors contributing to the development of Barrett's were analyzed between the two groups. A total of 415 patients were enrolled for the study, 192 males and 223 females and it was found that Barrett's esophagus and especially the long segment Barrett's were significantly more common in Kotayam than in Trivandrum. Also the duration of GERD symptoms was significantly more in the Trivandrum cohort than the Kotayam cohort. Hiatus hernia as well as the BMI were more common in Kotayam. Hence, it was concluded that though both Trivandrum and Kotayam belong to the same geographical area and are separated only by a distance of about 150 kilometers, the Kotayam cohort is more prone to develop distal esophageal carcinoma as the Barrett's esophagus is more common in Kotayam. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.